Today we're going to explore the drawing tools on Scratch. Go ahead and get logged into scratch.mit.edu and click create. Today we're going to explore the drawing tools which are something you use to make a new character. So let's get rid of the cat by clicking the scissors, that's the cut tool, and clicking the cat. And then come down here and click paint a new sprite. There's two sets of drawing tools, and the ones I'm going to show you today are the vector tools. The default is bitmap, and that's drawing with little dots or pixels. The reason I avoid that is that when you enlarge and then contract your drawing, you can lose detail. But on a vector drawing, all the detail is going to stay um, present, which is very, very good. So a quick demo, you can begin by drawing a line. You can change the size, you can change the color of the line. So that's the line tool. Click clear. You can also use the, the line tool. Sorry, the previous one was the pencil tool. This is the line tool. The line will let you draw basically any type of line. And there's two colors. There's a foreground and a background color. So now I'm using each of those. To draw perfectly vertical or horizontal lines, hold the shift key and it will force the lines to be either vertical or horizontal. Um, let's choose a prettier blue and a prettier red. There we go. Next is the rectangle tool. In the rectangle tool you can draw solid rectangles like this and holding the shift key here will f uh, on a new rectangle anyway will force them to be perfectly square. Um, going back and forth so I get the selection again. I can also choose to do an open rectangle. So an open rectangle and again with the shift key it'll be like that. When you make an open figure you can fill it with other colors like so. I can fill. You can even do that on top of a solid drawing. So if I make a solid circle and again this will be an oval and holding the shift key forces a a perfect solid, like so. And there's different kinds of fills. This type of fill is um, a gradient, and I can undo by clicking the undo button. I can also switch everything left to right, like so, or up and down. Ooh, that looks kind of cool, almost like a drop shadow. I can click on part of it <clears throat> and hit delete. Um, what else do you want to do? You can clone by clicking the clone tool. Click what you're going to clone and then you can just move it around and put it where you want. Notice I can still resize because I'm in a vector. I can create different sized objects. Okay, so I'm going to clear it out and let's try one thing. How about drawing a pumpkin today? So I'm going to start with perhaps a uh, pencil tool in black and create a basic pumpkin shape and I'm gonna get some orange and maybe a deeper kind of brown get my get my gradient going on let's select like a brown for that foreground color and Maybe I need that a little darker. Oh, there we go. That's an interesting kind of uh, a fill like that. And maybe I'll get my line tool and go ahead and draw the ribs that go around the pumpkin like so. pretty good and maybe I'll thicken my line a little bit and put a stem on the top like so and perhaps I should give it a jack-o-lantern face ooh 
I don't like that last bit, so I'll undo it and try again. Ah, uh, now we're talking. He looks mean. And I can use my bucket to actually fill and contain it within what I just drew. Voila. So there's my character. Now I'm going to switch over to scripts. And one thing you can do is you can shrink that down and not lose any detail because it's a, a vector. And I could go ahead and animate that in the typical way. Try and move 10 steps in a forever loop. And let's give it a little if on edge bounce. And away it goes. I can cause it to not rotate and change the direction a little bit. All right, have fun with that.